hey everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to be doing a what's in my camera bag video obviously you know that you clicked on it but i have three things i want to say first one if you're new to this channel new to this video hello welcome thank you for clicking on my video i am a fashion photographer and on my channel you will find behind the scenes photography videos editing tutorials lots of other stuff about photography so if you want to see more of that don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'm happy you're here second thing i'd like to say that for my returning subscribers or even if you're a new subscriber if you have any video requests please send them my way i would love to make some more sit down talky videos for you guys so if you have any suggestions of things you want to see from me let me know in the comments below i'll add it to my list and try my best to get on that and make a video um and then the third thing i would like to say is oh my gosh i am almost at 1000 subscribers i might have it by now i don't know i might i might not anyway um yeah that's just like really crazy for me to have almost 1000 or at 1000 subscribers uh, i just remember six months ago i made my first like photography related video i had a youtube channel for a while and i was just making like book books and stuff i never was getting any like attention or numbers from it and so i was like oh no i'm a photographer i might as well let me see i don't know make a video and see what happens and that was six months ago and that video now has over a thousand two thousand almost two thousand views and now i have almost one thousand subscribers and that's really crazy i never would have thought that people would like to subscribe to me or see my stuff or like even support my work outside of like my friends and family so i would just like to say thank you thank you to everyone who has ever watched one of my videos clicked on my video looked at my channel looked at my photos done anything or anything everything anything to even like support me and my photography it really means the apple salute i said apple the absolute word to me world to me i can't even speak because i'm like ah. okay anyway yes so Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Now, let's get into the video. I know that's what you clicked it for. You wanted to see what I shoot with. So let me stop talking about that. And let's talk about camera care. So, I only, I only, I'm not going to say that because not everyone has this. So, I have two cameras, not four, two. I have two cameras that I shoot with for my, primarily. My main camera is a Canon 6D. It is a full frame camera. Um, I recently got that at the end of last year. Um, after I updated for my crop body, which I'll talk about later. Anyway, on my 6D, I pair it with a 50 millimeter 1.8, not the new STM version. It is the, like a older version. And that is actually the only camera lens, camera body I ever really shoot with. Surprisingly, I know people who might follow my work might expect something different, something more, whatever, I don't know. Um, no, I only shoot with a 51.8 in my full frame camera for a while I was shooting with a 51.8 in my crop body. Now the other camera I have is a Canon 60D as a crop body and it is paired with a 24, uh, I'm reading it as I'm filming, 24 2.8 um, lens, it's a pancake lens. Um, that is a crop body sensor like I said, that was my first camera. That was the camera I used to shoot with with my 50 when I first started out in photography. Um, I just recently got the, not really recently, maybe like two years ago, got the 24 pancake lens mainly for videos, um, mainly because I was getting tired of my crop body always being so close. I wanted something wider and it's still cropped, but it, 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 gets, it gets you there. Um, I use that mainly for videos. So all the behind the scenes videos you guys watch on my channel are always, always gonna be shot on that camera unless otherwise stated so yeah it works well for what i need it to do um i'm not a big like gear fanatic so like don't ask me about other cameras and stuff i honestly barely know how to work my own cameras um so yeah that's really all i have um the other things i do keep in my camera bag i have this little tiny thing i call it my photography kit it has like gum and band-aids hand sanitizer hair ties bobby pins um other little small necessity things tissues if it's winter that you don't really think about during photo shoots i always keep that in my bag because i know we're gonna need something and someone's not gonna have it and we're gonna be like freaking out trying to like compensate for not having what we need and so i just keep that in my bag for the story about why i have that i was doing a photo shoot in the winter it was like 30 degrees probably i don't know it was cold and um 
with wind chill so it was like super freezing I had like this fur coat on and my model was being a trooper and he was just modeling and I gave like the contract offer for him to sign and I got a paper cut now you're like oh it's fine it was paper cut you're being a big baby I don't know why but this paper cut cut like my thumb was like bleeding forever uncontrollably for like no reason i was like it's literally just paper i don't know my skin's just really sensitive i use baby lotion so my skin's not probably not that strong as it could be but um yeah and my finger was just bleeding and i'm like freezing cold trying to keep my one hand in my pocket while i'm shooting but now i can't because i have to make sure it's not bleeding and getting all my clothes so i'm like licking my thumb trying not to get it on my clothes not trying to get it on things taking photos of the model at the same time directing the model trying to stay warm it's just like all over the place it's like crazy and i did not have a band-aid so as soon as i got home i put band-aids in my bag and i was like i need to make a kit so that this never happens again so i did so that's why i did um yeah i think that's all i really ever keep in my camera bag i always do bring waters in the um winter t winter in the summer wow um i usually bring water bottles in the summer for both me my model and my assistant just to make sure no one you know passes out or anything but also it's just a nice little gesture i also kind of bring like little snacks sometimes granola bars fruit snacks things like that in case someone gets hungry just little tiny things that are like go a long way when you need them um yeah i'm trying to remember if i have anything else worthy of saying that's in my camera bag oh i do keep my um prism obviously in my camera bag i don't know where my prism is right now i lost it apparently probably um i do keep my photography prism in my bag and i also keep other little like gems things to put in front of the lens to like use white fragments and like make the photo look cool and stuff i do keep that in there but i always forget to use them because they're in a pocket that i never go in and i should probably change that um the other thing i do keep in my camera bag is my instax mini eight i think it's an eight or nine i don't know which one it is um it's lime green and yeah it's a polaroid camera basically <clears throat> and yeah that's i think all i use sorry if this video was like really underwhelming it's probably going to be shorter than you anticipated um yeah i'm not someone who has a bunch of gear i know that's like kind of a thing you expect a photographer to have like a million lenses and like four camera bodies and like all this other stuff and it's just I don't for many reasons one because i'm a college student um don't have like expandable income just to go buy thousands of dollars of camera equipment and second of all yeah that's that's actually mainly that's mainly the reason why this is photography is not my full-time job i am a full-time student so i don't really spend thousands of dollars on camera equipment so you make it work with what you have i've had my 50 since i Sorry, I cracked my knuckles. Sorry, you heard that. That's kind of gross. Um, I've had this camera um, for less than a year, but I've had my 50 millimeter for forever. I've had it since I started photography. Um, this version of the um, 50 was my first um, camera lens I've ever bought. I bought it off a of kid and refurbished, and it was only like it wasn't even a hundred dollars. It was like maybe 80 or 70 dollars. And yeah, that's all I shoot with. I love it. I, I would love to upgrade to the 35 Sigma 1.4 art. Oh my god. I shot with that once and I died a little bit inside because it was so beautiful. But yeah, that's all I shoot with and that's really the only things I really keep in my camera bag. Oh, let me show you my camera bag. Sorry, it's really underwhelming. This is my camera bag. It's not even like a real... It's open. Sorry. It's not even like technically a real camera bag it's a Jansport backpack um, from high school um, I don't have an actual camera bag I have a little um, carrying protective case that I do keep my cameras in I got that off of Amazon because this backpack obviously isn't for cameras so it's not going to protect your cameras um, I use a little carrying bag I will eventually <laughs> get a camera bag it's just I don't know why I don't have one I'm not I'm a very indecisive person so if i'm gonna invest in something like this i need to make sure i'm gonna love this camera bag for like the rest of my life so i have yet to find a camera bag that i know i'm gonna love for the rest of my life so that's why i don't have a camera bag but uh, i'll get one i'll get them but some camera bags are like 200 300 dollars and i'm like no 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 not for me i'm not gonna spend almost the price of a lens for a camera bag like no no thank you 
I'm gonna stick to Amazon. So yeah, I'm gonna get a camera bag eventually. But for now, it works. It carries what I need to carry and that's fine with me. I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't want to be the cliche of like, it's not about the gear, it's the photographer. But I mean, it kind of is. I feel like it's a two-way street. Your gear does help a lot, but it's also about what you can make the best out of your photos. And I try my best to do that with my gear. It does get challenging sometimes. I'm not going to lie, having just a 51.8 lens does get really challenging at times. But I kind of like the challenge and I like being able to just not always have to worry about changing lens all the time and yeah my 50 has been good to me i'm not gonna ever turn my back on my 50 i love it so i like using it and it goes to show that you don't need like extensions camera gear to get the shots that you want you just need your vision and you need the tools and um techniques to be able to execute your vision so yeah that is it. That is my what's in my camera bag video. I tr yep, that's it. I don't know what else to say at this point. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, again, if you guys have any like suggestions, video suggestions, photography suggestions, whatever, just put them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I keep looking that way. My window's right there, so I'm, I just like looking outside. I'm sorry. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.